marching it out. No, it's not a mirage. I actually have a color on other than black. But <laughs> it was a plan. It was actually a mistake. <laughs> I know I need to wear more colors. But my black stuff is hanging up to dry. Here we go. Good, we're gonna get ready to take it up and over. Oh, obliques, yes. We put them to work yesterday. Yes, good job. All right, get ready to warm up those quads. Kick it back. Good, heels to the bottom. Good, elbows up and back. Good, as you pull those elbows back, got to feel those shoulder blades coming together in the center. Good. Nice stretch coming across here. All right, let's pause it here. Both toes facing forward. Bend your forward at the waist, little pulse here. Good. Good, other side, here we go. Good, bring a center. I want you to rotate here. Knees are staying front, good. Nice rotation. Good, let's do a couple arm circles, large circles this time. And to the rear, nice and big. Good. All right, micro part one comes up right now. Tight circles to the front, let's go. Good, and stop, good job. You need to give those shoulders a roll, front to back. Good. All right, we have those prisoner squats up next. Fingertips are gonna be lightly at the head. You have the option here to keep these standing. So if you're having knee issues, just don't go down as deep, okay? A, sm a, slight, um, a slight dip is gonna be good enough or you can sit the chair and lift here, okay? All right, let's do it. Make sure that weight is in your heels. Good.
Very good, relax. Shoulders might still have a little burn. That's okay. Give it a little roll, front to back. All right. So you know we gave those obliques some work yesterday. So they might be a little bit sore. We're gonna do some oblique work today too. But before we get to that additional work, we need to get that micro oblique work done, okay? Core is tight, fingertips lightly here. Really reach, let's go. Very good. All right. We've got that thrust move coming up, okay? So we're going down to the floor, or you may use a raised surface for these. I'll show a combination of both moves. Starting off with our palms below our shoulders. This does not have to be fast. I'd rather you take your time and be effective and use good form. Let's go. and stop. All right, you see you have options. I did the traditional move. I did a step back and forth. I also did um, using a raised surface like a step. And I also did it with the stool, a higher surface, okay? So find out what works best for you. But right now we're taking it down to the floor. We have those Otis ups. You can go weighted or unweighted. You need to put your feet, your toes under the chair. You can do that. Let's go. Very good. All right. So make sure you record your reps. Micro is done, but we're gonna stay close to the floor. So I'm gonna show you um, a move. We're gonna be doing those hydrants. If you're having issues with your knees right now, after I get you started, I'm gonna show a variation that you can use. 
So for these hydrants, palms are on the floor below our shoulders. Knees are about hips width apart and we're lifting. At an angle, it looks like this. All right, if you are not comfortable standing or you suffer from any issues right now, you can remain standing and lift out. Lift here and return, okay? Otherwise, we're here, staying on one side. Good. Squeeze that belly. Back to stand, nice and flat. Relax. Good job. Again, so if you miss that, if you need to be standing, hands out, like here. Now, if that balance is too much and you're standing, right here, tap it down, come up and reset. If you're on the floor, next round starts right now. Let's go. Lift. Now, if you want this to be a little bit more challenging, you can lift, extend your leg, and bring it in. Good. You got it. Palms flat on the floor below those shoulders if you're down on the floor. If you're standing, make sure that supporting knee has a tiny bend. Good, relax. All right. If you were standing for that one, stay standing. If you're on the floor, stay on the floor. If you are standing, what you're gonna do, arms are gonna be here. So you're gonna bend that knee and you're gonna be lifting, okay? So you're gonna be here, lifting, okay? You're on the floor, we're doing a donkey kick. Let's go, everybody. So your glute is tight. Your foot is flat as if you're trying to press up the ceiling. A lot of pressure in your hamstring and your glute here. The supporting knee should be right under the hip. Woo, relax. Oh yeah, there's a burn right there. <laughs> Hang in there. If you need elevated surface, you may do that. If you also need to um, decrease that angle, so if I was at about 90 degrees, I guess I should say if you need to increase the angle some, you may do that. Other side, let's go. Press it up. Flat back, nice tight belly. So for me, I always struggle to have the supporting knee underneath of the, of the hip. I have to really think about it. Press, press. Very good. All right, once you take your time, come to standing. If you have a weight close by, I want you to grab a weight. Remember I said we were gonna be doing some more oblique work. So for me, I'm gonna use a kettlebell. You can use a hand weight, whatever feels good to you. You can go a little heavier than you normally would. We're not going overhead. And we're not going over our heart. Keep our uh, weight in our heels. Good, we are rotating here. So your hips are staying square with the front. You're only moving the upper part of your torso. Okay, so let me put the weight down the shape. So think hips here, staying put. Rotation is right here. Good. Weight in your heels, soft knee. Good, relax. All right, put that weight down and relax. Same moves coming up. 
Here we go. Don't forget, hips are forward. If you need to increase that width of your stance for better support, you can do that. No holding breath here. Good. You want to make this more difficult? Woo! Put that weight straight out. Oh my, oh my. There you go. Good, let's put that weight down. All right. Very good. All right, let's see where we are now. Let's go into um, inner ankle taps. Okay, so for here, you can go without a squat. Knees bothering you, keep the squat out of it. Keep your belly nice, rock hard. Boom, we're working here. So we're firing up the hips, the inner thigh, and our quads. If you're okay squatting, you're squatting, tap. We're staying on the same side. Yes, you got it. Yep. Right, so if you're here, you're still working hard. Boom, boom, squeeze it. Five seconds. Yes, rest. Good. Last time I saw him, we had him up. I mean, I make sure come on the back here. Now, excuse me, Albert. No, on the, it's in the middle floor somewhere. Um, did you check on the hay now? Um, where the flavor syrups are? Sorry, y'all, real life. That's what happens when your studio's at home. Put it down, take it here. Right, life happens, it's keys. Right? So, I don't need to get my keys to get my day started here. However, my husband does. So my thinking cap is on. I saw those keys. Now I gotta think about where they are. Yes, go. Woo! Rest. Doing great. Grab a sip of water. All right. Let's do some standing, um, standing ab work. Fingertips are here. We're squeezing, okay? And we are crunching, boom, to the center. So we're all abs. So we're not flexing at the waist. We're just crunching right here, up top. Targeting, just think about like those first two um, abs, maybe that four pack at the top. We're trying to hit them. Right? So good morning would be here. We're not there. We're right here. Ooh. Couple more here. Squeeze your glutes as you bring it in. Two and one. Rest. Right? We can get those abs even though we're standing. So if you're not sure, you can't tell whether or not you're getting them. Squeeze, put the fingertips here, see what it feels like, okay? You're gonna feel that muscle flex. So we're targeting right here, this section right here. All right, here we go, once more, squeeze it. Breathe. Be intentional. Squeeze those glutes, tuck the hips forward on that crunch. Good, relax. Doing great. All right, let's take one weight. We're gonna do you can do now the weight that you used um, for those rotations may or may not be too heavy. We're gonna buckle the seat belt, okay? I'm gonna go with something a little bit smaller. 
Wow, did you hear that? And you know it wasn't that small. All right, so we're going here. Boom. So think you're reaching over, taking that seat belt, clicking it in. Boom, click it in. Hips are staying forward. There you go. Bam. Staying on the same side. Reach, bring it down, click it in. Going great. Relax. Hello, core. <laughs> We're working on it, y'all. All right. Other side. Let's buckle the seatbelt. Let's go. Lock it in. Reach, pull, and lock. You with me? Come on. All right. You got it. I see you. Woo. Good job. We're almost there. Let me see. All right. We're almost there. Let's take a lightweight this time. We're going to take a lightweight or no weight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drive the car, rotate. Yes. If you're struggling in your shoulders, bring it down some if you need to. Looking good, y'all. Take it out a little bit if you need to. Cause you know we gotta do it once more. <sighs> All right, let's go, let's drive. Good job. I don't know about y'all. I feel the burn. It's okay. You see, I had to release it for a couple seconds. If you need to release it for a couple seconds, jump back in. That's fine. Woo. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. Almost there. All right, let's do, um, let's do for our final one, let's do a weighted um, deadlift. We're gonna do one leg with that balance, okay? So this will be our balance move for the day. One um, leg supporting with bent knee. Okay, if that balance is too much, just change the depth. Do a kickstand right here. Drop that foot down if you need to. If your balance is fine, you wanna take it, go to a hover, you may. Now, if your balance just isn't there today, keep it with a double. All right, good job. We just need to do that on the other side. If you were singling it out, then we stretch and then we're done. All right. Belly's still nice and tight. 
Let's balance. Let's do it. Let's finish strong. If there's a wobble, it's okay. Doing the best that we can. Good job. Good job. Go ahead and put the weight down. So I don't know if you're looking at the screen. I started losing my balance a little bit. That's okay. That's what you do. You you just kick that foot out when you need to. Get your balance and keep moving. It's okay. For the last couple, I did the double going down. I felt unsteady. That's perfectly fine. Let's go. Deep breath in. The best part of the workout. Yes. We're cooling down. Good. Breathing in. And blow it out. Before we go into our oblique stretch, let's point those toes forward. Run the hands down the thighs. Good. We're going to roll it up nice and slow. Good. Take it back down. Roll it on up. Very good. Walk those feet together or step them together. Either spine reach up and over. Oh, this should feel good. Reach, reach, reach. Very good. Take your time coming back to neutral. Being easy on our spine. On to tricep stretch first. Push that elbow back. Give it a nice stretch. Very good. Let's switch sides. Very nice. Out. Open nice and big. Lean back. Chin is up. Good. Bring it in. Oh, wait for me to stretch, 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 stretch. Here, hips are tucked forward. Glutes are squeezed. Nice, tight thighs right here. Good, release. Turn those palms behind you. Relax your shoulders. Nice press to the center. Good, drop those arms. Pull down to the ground. Lift those arms just a bit. Lift, lift, lift. Shoulder blades squeeze together in the center. Good, and relax. Let's get our legs. Bring a foot up. Nice quad stretch here. You may have an arm out to balance. You can have your hand at the wall or on a chair. Hands at your head, whatever feels good. As long as you're feeling a stretch in the front of that thigh, you're good. Good. Let's go ahead and do the other thigh before we get to the back for the hamstrings. Good, relax. All right, come up on that first heel hinge forward, nice and flat on that back. Reach down, grab that toe, gentle pull towards you. Feel and stretch all the way up the back. 
Good, and release. Oh, there's one. Come up on the heel. Hinge forward. Pull gently towards you. You can also try rotating your ankle, I mean your toe toward the center and out. Give you a different feeling in the back of your uh, calf. Good release. All right, deep breath in. Here we go. We are practicing control of our breathing, so we're gonna blow it out nice and slow. Take your time, here we go. Yes! Congratulations on another great workout.